Call Walter Mellon, call Walter Mellon, call Walter Mellon, well he's not hard to find. When you hear those sick and you must find a substitute, Walter Mellon is a choice. At least he's got the suit. Walter Mellon, hero for hire, reasonable rates. Groggy, well, take a couple of aspirin. Groggy Barbacoa, yo, champ. Yo, I love that theme. It's so inspirational. Oh, yeah. oh, what fun. Oh, looks like I'm down for the count. Contusions, concussions, and lacerations. Is that a law firm? No, oh, cuts and bruises. Gee, champ, that's tough. But you'll be back by fight night, right? Great. Can I fill in till then? Sign autographs? Yo, don't worry. It'll be no problem. Groggy, you're home. Gee, you're the only person I ever seen put on weight from hospital food. Hey, Groggy, glad to see you. How's my champ? <laughs> Don't worry, we got plenty more in the garage. Well, you, you look a little chunky there, Groggy. We gotta get you in shape for the fight. Just a little warm up, champ. Come on, loosen those muscles. Don't worry, Punchy. I'll be in shape in time for the big fight. Watch this. <laughs> Oh, God, looks like the bag's a bit too heavy for you. How about a little jump rope, champ? Payback time, boys! Apollonius, he beat you in Groggy 1 and 2. Blubber Fang, alias Mr. B, he whooped you in Groggy 3, 4, 5, and 6. Oh, yes, he proved he's the horsey from Italy, but that wasn't enough. Then he beat you last Gorgo in Groggy 11. But he can't handle all three of you, because this is my script and my revenge. <laughs> Come on, Grog. I am a muskrat. You'll tear him limb from limb. <laughs> no problem. <sighs> Oh, this boxing stuff looks a lot easier on pay-per-view. Good thing the champ will be back for that title bout. Yo, champ! What? A turn for the worse? You won't make the bout? I'm gonna have to go through with the fight? Yo, 
Of course you can count on me. I'm Walter Mellon, hero for hire, and I'm gonna finish this job. Even if it's the last thing I do. Well, we've been together a lot of years, Grog, and I'm no quitter. But after that performance today, I'm calling it quits. Oh, don't give up on me, Punchy. I've got to do it. I've got to get back the eye of the muskrat. Then you're gonna have to train harder than you've ever trained before. The bout's in two days. that working out? You think you got time to do this tomorrow? I don't care if you're tired, there is no tomorrow. <laughs> Grog, the eye of the muskrat, you understand what I'm saying to you? You must find the eye of the muskrat, or you live in that little nothing hole the rest of your wasted stinking life. Tonight's ultimate title bout has got to be Groggy Barbacoa's toughest battle yet. He's gone down! Three rounds, three opponents! Mr. Sneero, is it true that Groggy has already put your boys out of action? Give me that thing! Yes, it's true! But he's never fought them all in one match. They're gonna pulverize Groggy, and there won't be no comeback, no rematch, and no rewrite. I'm begging you, don't fight! You, Adrian, I got no choice. I gotta fight. But why? Why? <laughs> because it says so in the script. And tonight, the ultimate world title bout of the re-round match between champion Groggy Barbacoa and anybody else. I'm the muskrat. Yo, I'm here. I'm groggy. I am the champ. <laughs> Over in this corner, we have fighting in a disgraceful, undisclosed white, the horsey from Italy. Snacked with mozzarella, provolone, sausage, and pepperoni. With a double thick crust around his middle, groggy. Fighting the guy he beat in his first movie, we bring you round one. Groggy versus Apollonius Reed! I've been waiting 11 seconds for this, Barbacoa. Finally, I'm gonna be the winning trainer. Come on, Groggy, move! What's the matter with you? You got your shoelaces tied together? My laces? My shoelaces are tied. See? <laughs> First round is Groggy Barbacoa! I'll really tie his shoes and stop that Palooka's fancy footwork. Round two, the guy he beat in his next movie, Belover Fang. I'm gonna finish you, fool. Well, really, Mr. Fang, there's no need to get derogatory. You see, see this fool? Stop playing around, fool. Stay in one place, fool. These rocket sequels in here, fool. I'm fired up now, Gorgo. This is for Mom and Apple Pie in the eye of the muskrat. Sir, they are all on his side. No one cheers for me. I do not think I can knock him out. Quit complaining. Well, these will guarantee a knockout. And now, groggy horsey, I will break you. 
Yo, look at me, watch my footwork. Floating, stinging, jabbing, you can't hit me. I am Roddy, the muskrat. Rocky! No! Rocky! Rocky! I gotta get to the fight. Adrian! Adrian! Yo, I got her as soon as I could. Oh. oh, well, I didn't get the girl. I didn't get the championship belt. But it wasn't a complete loss. I got the eye of the muskrat. I will break you! Try one on! Ah, blast you, boy! You'll pay for this! Peter, help! I'm a common breezy! Oh, Peter, you're so young, so courageous and strong. My hero! Pun? You'll be forever banished from my theme park! Her admission will be a low, low hundred bucks. Can he do that, Peter? It'll never happen, Breezy. I'm here to stay. In Never Grow Up Land, children will always play and sing and go on every ride they want for free. Says you, matey. <laughs> now, take this. Look out, Peter. He's got a real fish hook. <laughs> you got to use better bait than that hook. I think you're losing your edge, pun. Your dueling's a little creaky. Yeah, right. Hey! And isn't that a gray hair? Get serious. Gray doesn't happen in Never Grow Up Land. See for yourself. <laughs> <gasps> oh, my, Peter. I think he's right. You think so, Breezy? No. No, it must be the sunlight hitting my hair at an odd angle. You're in denial, Peter. It is true. It's gray. Maybe a little pink stuff will restore that youthful color. Uh, sorry, Peter. You need more than pixie dust. You need a dye job. No, it's not true. Gotcha, Breezy. I can get you into my spa, Peter, but it may take a few days. Anything. I can't grow up. I won't. Jeremy Timbers, looky here. Well, you and your magic are staying with me, Tinky, in Hook, Line, and Stinkerland. <laughs> Watermelon, hero for hire, reasonable rates, most major credit cards, except... Ex 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 <laughs> Peter Pun, I should have known from the pixie dust. How's Tinky? What? Captured by Captain Hook, Line, and Stinker? Don't worry, I'll save her. <laughs> Oh, you need a temp for Breezy? No problem. Oh, bit of bug. Bit of bug. Do you still have your white petticoat? Oh, no. Not the white petticoat. Oh, yes. And the pantyhose and pumps, too. 
I don't like flying, and I don't like this dress. Oh, nonsense, Billybug. You look stunning. Think young and carefree. And shave the mustache. I still can't figure out how we're flying. Pixie powder, it's on your wig and in my cap. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think that was the Lost Boys Treehouse. Peter, you're back. But it's too late. Never Grow Up Land is lost. It's being turned into that rip-off hook, line, and stinker land. Not while I'm here. Come on, we've got to find Tinky. Up, up, and... Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hey, Peter, wait for me! Soon, pun. Looking for your lost boys in Tinky Bell? Well, your lads and lassie have cast their lot with Captain Hook, Line, and Stinker. And why? Our own high rise pirate treehouse with room service. And 20% off all merchandise in my park. Except on crack merchandise, Hook. But in Never Grow Up Land, children can play and sing and ride for free. Oh, Never Grow Up Land is history. Tinky, I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? Ha! From what? I'm working for Hook, Line, and Stinkerland now. Check this out. Oh, a great salary, medical benefits, and a pension plan. And to top it all off, I've been promised my own ride named after me. <laughs> But Tinky's always had a thing for being famous. Come on, Peter. Well, we know when we're not wanted. Face it, Peter. Everyone's turned against you, including Tinky. Cool! Awesome! When the Lost Boys and Tinky see how rotten Hook, Line, and Stinkerland is, they'll believe in Peter Pun again. <laughs> rotten, huh? Face it, Peter. You're licked. That was a wild ride! Now, for a small surcharge, you can join your friends on the matter hook. But we thought that hundred bucks was all inclusive. A hundred bucks in a surcharge? Peter would never charge. How dare you mention the P kid in this park? I think, Tinky, you admire that overgrown adolescent too much for me to trust you. Smirk! The Pixie Pest Strip! <laughs> Lucky! <laughs> Hide her in the matter hook. Pun will never find her there. Okay, Lost Boy, you know the plan. Good luck, Peter! No, not another roller coaster. <laughs> Tinky. What? Look up in the sky! It's a sparrow! Now it's a kite! Now it's Peter! Don't mention that pea kid! Guards! Stop him! There's Tinky! Hold on! We're gonna rescue you! I've got you, Tinky! Hold on! No! This is quite a sticky situation, Bitterbug. <laughs> Fear not, Tinky. I'll return to rescue you. Who's gonna rescue us? Yeah! Bitterbug, your magic powder. Blimey, where's the last we'll see of Peter Bun? <laughs> Little lost boy, at least somebody around here knows how to rescue someone. Huh? <laughs> I'm back. Me too. Yeah, 
yeah, me three. Welcome back, Stooges. <laughs> I knew you'd come back, and I've been waiting. You're gonna pay for rescuing that pixie and disrupting my rides? Yeah, well, who's gonna pay for this dress? I think we've paid enough already. We're not gonna take it anymore. A hundred bucks admission is a ripoff. We're just kids. Yeah, you man, man but rip off. <laughs> oh, well, it's just you and me, pun. <laughs> Okay, pun. You want a piece of me? My pleasure. Oh, God! Let's get it on, Pee-wee Pun! You haven't heard the last of Peter Pun! <laughs> <laughs> Not since you discounted my merchandise, you cheapskate! <laughs> I wish I knew who was gonna pay for this dress! Oh, relax. A little pixie dust will fix it up like new. 